Hello my friends, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to my channel. I thought it would be worth doing a little update video because I haven't actually done anything on the channel for quite a while so I thought why not, I got a little bit of time this morning I'm going to do a little quick recording for you guys, ask how you're all doing, hope you're all doing well of course and go from there. Hands free, I'm on my phone but I'm hands free, I've got my, it's like a white clip that you put on the table and you can like attach your phone to it. I bought it from Wish, I think I bought it from, like two years ago and I've hardly used it. So I thought I'd whip it out, chuck it on my desk and go from there. So yeah, hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a great day, wherever you are in the world. And to be honest with you guys, the channel's winding down. The channel is winding down. I did do a video um, not that long ago, actually. I think it was about four or five months ago where I literally said the end of Dragonheart. I did the whole black and white black and white uh, filter to look quite sad and quite serious and then like bold writing on the thumbnail and stuff. And I talked a little bit about what I think is going to happen with my channel going forward. And these thoughts are staying in my head and they're circulating quite a bit. And I just thought I'd record a video today just to sort of get those thoughts out there for you guys. But I'm pretty sure that my channel will be finishing up on or in March, March of next year, March 2023. Uh, the reason being is that March the twenty, or March the twentieth is when I created my channel in twenty thirteen, with my first upload coming the day after March the twenty first. So around the twentieth, twenty first, I was thinking of doing my last ever video, and um, with that, it would literally be me talking about all the people I want to thank, talk a little bit about the journey that I've had on YouTube, talk about like some of the people I've met, some of the things I've enjoyed, some of the things I haven't enjoyed. And talk a little bit about like what the plan sort of is. And, and that is basically me not uploading regularly anymore, which I don't do anyway. But I want to do that final video just to kind of bookend the channel so I can be like, this is the day and the day I started. And this is the date that I, I finished the channel. And this is my body of work in between. This is 10 years worth of content that I have done that I am, you know, of course, proud of and stuff. So... That is the, the plan for me. As far as what I've been getting on with and stuff, like occasionally I have the idea or maybe I'll upload something, maybe I'll create something, but it's it's very much like a flash in the pan sort of thing where I have a little idea and I don't do, I don't follow it up or don't do anything with it. Um, the last two videos I did do, one is regarding my PlayStation 4 collection, which is the there, which I talked about and the video did all right, a couple of comments and stuff. And then before that, I did a PlayStation 5 a video which is exactly the same where I talk about what games I own, what games I'm looking to buy, this is what my collection is right now sort of thing. And that went out really well, I had like a thousand views or something, which in this day and age, if I can get a thousand views in a video, that is fantastic because um, I literally struggle to break like the, the 10 or 20 view mark these days. So for me to do do that is pretty impressive. Um, I, I, I kind of stopped doing the Let's Talk Gaming videos. And it's a lot of things, really. But if I'm being totally honest with you, being in this room, I find it quite hard because I work from home half of the week. And this is basically my office space. So I'm in here doing actual like work and stuff in the daytime. And then when it comes to five o'clock and, and my day finishes, I don't want to spend my evening in here as well. Um, I want to be in other places or do other things. So like I play bowls. So I, I'll go and play bowls a couple of nights a week to get out of the house, um, or if I want to play games, I tend to go downstairs on my PS5 and play down there, because that's like separate. And it's all like a mental thing with me. Um, I know you could all, you know, you turn around and say, well, just go in the office and stuff. But then obviously there's the, the, the argument of saving petrol, saving like, gas and electricity, saving energy, all these different things. And, and obviously I want to try and, and save as much as I can on, on those things as well. So a hybrid working model that obviously what we all do where I work um, is beneficial, but obviously the working from home thing, it can get you. And I think with me as well, my previous job was also working from home and that was for very long periods. This was last year, like this time last year when um, Mark Drakeford had us all working from home like over Christmas and stuff. So, you know, it, it felt so isolated, not seeing people on a regular basis and being stuck in the same four walls. It, it can drive you mad sometimes and I think it does with me because I'm quite a sociable person. So um, that's, 
in a roundabout way to answer the sort of question that is why um i don't tend to upload videos on a regular basis or don't create videos on a regular basis anymore but also it's the passion of it as well it's the passion of it that i don't have that burning desire and passion to make content like i once did i, I even struggle with streams i love streaming i've always loved streaming and for years i dreamed of streaming I streamed at my parents' house. I couldn't stream very well because the upload speed was terrible. It was absolutely atrocious. And I couldn't like, you know, I, I could do like a 480p stream or a 720p stream at a push, but it was very poor quality and stuff. And and I, I'd always wanted to do like proper streaming, you know, 1080p, HD, you know, alerts and stuff like that. And, and having that live interaction is, is great. And I'd always wanted to do that and I, and I did that. And then when I moved into my own house, which is here a few years ago, um, we got the internet set up and everything when you move in and it's like, wow, I've got like amazing speed compared to what I'm used to. I can actually stream. And I streamed and, and obviously when COVID happened and we were all at home anyway and stuff, you know, especially in those early months and, year, and, and years, it has been two years, but in those early months especially, um, I was streaming a lot and it became part of my life, you know, part of my routine. I was streaming a couple of times a week in the evenings. We did a charity stream, we did all this stuff, and it was so rewarding, so good. I love the relationships I built through streaming. And like I said, the live interaction is what gave me the, you know, it gives me a kick. It's what makes me want to do it. But even now, like the motivation to stream, I can stream on the PlayStation 5 and I'm downstairs, I'm playing games and stuff. And then I go to stream and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can feel it. It's almost like stage fright. It's like I almost feel a bit, like nervous to hit the stream button. I did it the other day. I played God of War and I streamed it and I had like three or four people watch for like an hour or so when like Boomsday and James Carmichael watched and it was great fun. But I struggle so much to to like, you know, to, to stream. Even when I was do even when I was doing that stream, I felt a bit awkward and I felt a bit like, right, what comes next? Like what do I do next? It was it was awful. So <laughs> it wasn't awful, but awkward. So um maybe it's a bit of a what what they call a lack of practice or out of sync of not doing it for so long or a bit rusty, that that kind of thing. But I do hope to to carry on my streams on Twitch. Twitch is a bit of a a bit of a festival, shall we say, at the moment with with the way things are, are going on that platform regarding the financial side of things and the contracts and people leaving the platform and going to YouTube and this and that and the other. Um, I'm I'm far removed from that sort of thing. Um, I don't even know. Like, I'm still going to stream on Twitch. That that hasn't changed for me when I do decide to stream, but. I don't know whether I'll stream on YouTube again or, or not. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do going forward. I think I'll keep it on Twitch for now because I know that Twitch has got good... I say Twitch has got good. It, it'll alert you. If it launches your notifications on for the channel, it will alert you when that person is live. I do get that through on my phone and stuff when people are live, like my friends and stuff. But I don't even really watch Twitch that much these days, so uh, there's that as well. Uh, let's see what time. We've been doing... About eight minutes or so. I'm gonna just finish off by saying about some of the games that I've played. Um, God of War, really enjoying it. Want to get the platinum for it. I'm probably about an hour or so away from finishing the main story, but I've got a lot of stuff to do on the side quest, which is a bit of a grind. So I might take a bit of a break from it at some point. I'm hoping I get that done in the next few weeks. I got Stray to play. That came uh, I think week before last, the physical edition of it. I'm looking forward to playing that. There's the Bannerlord release on console, which I might pick up. Even though I've got it on PC, refer to the start of the video where I say about playing PC and being upstairs in this room and everything. Um, so playing Bandwall on the console would actually be really good for me, I think. Um, Plague Tale Requiem, the sequel to Plague Tale Innocence, is coming out in a couple of weeks, which again, I would love to play because the first game was really good. And then just sort of go from there, really, and, and just play these games and enjoy them. I'm enjoying gaming a lot. Gaming is a massive help when it comes to, like... When your mood is down, gaming can be so good at like helping you recontextualize things in your head and refocus on things. And um, yeah, I'm I'm uh, enjoying the gaming on the PS5, which is what I'm basically saying. I think we're gonna call it a video anyway, guys. Thank you for, if you if you have watched. Thank you. Please drop a comment if you have and let me know what you think of whatever I've just said. And yeah, have a good one. And I'll talk to you whenever. Until next time. Goodbye.